dollar house fee yeah well that robbery was fun guys we're about to jump into the grand finals before that quick little 895 in the chat 895 means commercial break y'all know what's up and uh, last but not least if you guys enjoyed uh, once again, uh, check out the Matcharino crowdfund. Support the players. Help them out, guys. Every little bit counts. Even if you can't help out with your wallet tonight, you can also check out all the special sponsor quests here in the sidebar. They're all free. Follow some of your favorite friends, including the homies at Chicago Tekken, uh, Ronin and Rumble, Puppy Swarm, The Danger Time, lots of other ones too here. You can check out the G Fuel, Monster Energy, and everyone else. And uh, thank you very much, guys, for all the support. Anyway, let's do it. We're about to get this started. This is the Grand Finals. Next level battle circuit. IDOM coming from the winner's side. Uh, no no Knuckle Do or other crazy Capcom Cup champs here to threaten him. But instead, it's actually one of his strongest local opponents. Uh, and that's Shine the God. So good luck to both players, of course. Oop, I'm sorry. I'm the one holding it up. They're ready to play. They're waiting for me to move out of the way. Well, good luck, guys, to you tonight. We'll see who's going to take it. Thank you, Tesla. Thanks for your subscription, my friend. Tesla McEinstein with the seven Aeons. Uh, let's do it, guys. Cheer for your homies, man. Who, who you guys want to see take it? You want to see Idom take back the crown and rule with an iron fist again? Or do you guys want to see Shine do well tonight? You let me know who you prefer. Idom with the cheap stuff. Or Shine also with the cheap stuff. Honestly, both these players are extremely cheap. That's what it comes down to. That's why they're so successful. So it looks like Shine is player one, Idom is player two. Round Let's do one. it. Fight. Shine, the $3 shape up. <laughs> Infinity. <laughs> Bro, actually, I admire Cody's build. If only I could be that buff. Cody's mad buff. Or uh, if I had to pick a build, Cody or you know how Soul and Kai, or it's not Soul and Kai, Soul and Sin from uh, the new guilty here. Their build is so OD. They look inhuman. That's how buff they are. Oh no! The cross up didn't work. And now Shine. Oh, dominating this corner. Ripping him a new one. No mercy. Oh no! He didn't get his link. That was so sick. If only. If only it wasn't too far away. Now he's the one corner trying to find his way out of it. And that is death. Ding ding ding! I dom round one. That was a that was the first round. Holy crap! The level of play. Your face. Give me your arm. <laughs> good mash. All right, Shine gets so it gets out of there thanks to that wake up mash. It was a good moment for that. Anti air, nice. The trade favorite item. Oh no! So much damage. And the block strings are forcing Shine to the corner. Tried to escape again. It didn't work. Right back to the corner with the cross under. This time again he tries to and again I dom using the same sequence to force Shine back to the corner. Again, I will do it as many times as I need to. And Shine forced to use a trigger. Tried to turn into a wreath. Wow! I dom. The awareness. He just crouched the whole shiz. He was like, I'm just gonna win. chill here. Thanks for the haircut. I could use that. I down takes game one. Yeah, Idom's really at the top of this game right now. And Shine is like, I need a I need a breather moment. I need a moment, my friend. Can I relax? Can I think about what's going on right now? Alright. So we're going to set up for game two. I dumped up the first one. Could Mario escape at Silver Ink? You know, man, I don't think so because have you ever seen the gif of Mario at World 8-4 and he's trying to jump the pit, but Gal's there? You know what I'm talking about? He can't even beat Gal in that situation. So I, I don't think that, that Mario's jump would be good enough to escape. I think that Mario would also actually get bodied. Just saying. Uh, Day of the Dolphin is looking for the 3-0. It might happen. It might be a 3-0. Uh, we'll see if Shine can dig deep tonight. But Idom, he's he's got that fire right now, man. He's got that, you know, that mood that says, all right, all right, it's been cute. You guys have been winning for a little while and putting some money in your pocket. But now, 
Now it's champion time. Sides are flipped now. Idom is going to be on the player one. Player two Round is Shine. Fight. $505 now in the match, you know, crowdfund. Thank you guys for adding, adding on to that bad boy. You guys are awesome. Got you. <laughs> he said the homie was a bronze that's like level 300. He plays story mode all day. That's his shit. That's why his guy knows how to play. He's got the anti CPU setups. Wide open. That was a good amount of great health there for Shine. That he took. Nice anti air. He's got the trigger. No, I'm sorry. I was looking at Idom's ball. Idom's the one that has a big trigger. And he's going to use it immediately. Set up. V reversal didn't work. Couldn't get a combo. Oh, no. Damn. Man, I feel like with Shine. I guess that's the that's what it is to play a Buki, right? You want a reversal so bad because you want them to get away. But I, I've watched Shine lose so many rounds to just getting his uppercut blocked and dying. I guess that's his game. That happens to everyone. Doesn't matter how good you are, you get your uppercut blocked sometimes. Hmm, nice. He got it. All right, clean round for Shine. Let me see golden letters. Still looking excellent right now for Idom despite that. That was just a ninjas kind of round. You know, ninjas, they hide and they steal. And they investigate real deep into your mind until they find the counter tactics. Oh, what a link. Bro, please. Oh my goodness, Shine. Please don't get stunned. No. Oh my goodness, V Trigger 1 into the combo. Nice, all right. We're going all the way back to season one with that one. All right, that was cool. Season two, when did Abuki first come out? It's been so long, season two. Oh, I just remember when people used to do all the bomb setups. Too bad it didn't work for Jack that game. I have definitely seen that before. Laura wins. 2-0 right now. <laughs> Roik says, I'm invested in the side bets. Hell yeah, bro. That's part of what makes it fun. Round One thing one. I love doing is when I'm done working at a big tournament, I definitely love watching the top eight. Oh, yeah. uh, and just, you know, talking shit with everybody around me, who I think is going to win, who I favor, who I would like to win hear what their opinions are it gets fun when you're both invested in the match right and each guy cheers for like their person that they want to take it it's shines invested in this win ouch how many perfects by the way can shine get without having a win on the board is this the the reverse perfect highlight hey hey again no please please double perfect oh too late a double perfect would have been a statement. Damn, those links. Double couch medium even. Piercing attack actually gets Shine out of the corner a little bit. He needs to use this feature trigger sooner or he's never getting out of this corner. Oh no, just I said it. Bro, please, you gotta get out somehow. Oh my goodness. Potential tournament point for Idom. Damn, Idom's so godlike. I don't even know what's a caller for him. I don't even know what he's thinking most of the time. I can't even like favor him and be like, yeah, come on, let's go, Idom, because it's too oppressive. Look at this. Bro, everything is linking. That is a stun. I think it's over, guys. GG's, GG's, GG, Sean. Try again next week, homie. <laughs> That was extremely oh, dominant from Idom. He was like, give me back my crown right now. Thank you. All right, well, good games. I get that was a mulling, I guess. All right, well, that's that's it for week 10 of NLBC. Good job, Idom, being extremely dominant. Uh, and really just kind of 
really ripping it here to everybody. Uh, final match arena count, $505.44, as you can see below. Uh, final subs count, the, the thing says 15-19, so let's count it as 15-19. That's how we ended the tournament. So, uh, thanks, everybody, that watched it. And thanks a lot to all you guys on YouTube, to all YouTube monsters. Peace out and take care of you.